me, I think the mission is that in other beverage categories, there are always a, a need that's being fulfilled, whether it's the sense of you know, health that you're doing. One aspect that I think it occurs in every other beverage category right now is refreshment, the idea of a refreshing version of something. So a light beer is refreshing. Uh, a spritzer wine is refreshing, but coffee doesn't seem to have that refreshing version yet, and Sophie can help fulfill that need. So Sophie is a carbonated cold brew coffee, which is different than those that are either flat or nitrogenated, so it actually does have that effervescence to it. And that in, its, that in itself is what does make it different, that it has a different mouthfeel to it as well. Now while there are a couple of other sparkling coffees on the market right now, what is also different about Sophie is that it's not preserved. Now it does have six months of shelf life, but the other brands that are out there at present actually do have some sort of preservative in it. So our audience is more psychographic than demographic. It's those who really aren't satisfied with the status quo. So for them, for example, having mass produced beer wasn't good enough, hence they went to more of a craft version of beer, or those who didn't really like kind of normal, normal foods, so they're more foodies and they're fine with fusion, so you can mash up a couple different styles of food. So again, the idea of not satisfied with the status quo. And now how we can kind of quantify that is the idea that there are those out there who, for example, will drink sodas but are trying to trying to get away from sodas because of the, uh, the sugar content, so this could be a potential replacement for them. Another trend that is out there that we're seeing is the idea of having a more natural version of an energy drink versus those that may have some sort of a chemical to give you the energy that you look for. And caffeine, obviously coming from coffee, is just a very natural way. So we know those, those, those audiences are out there and they exist, and we're gonna tap into those. Been doing this for a little less than a year right now, and I'm about to take on the first round of funding as a friends and family piece to get that uh, that funding in. And recently, just landed Gelson's as the first major retail account, so they'll be carrying it in all 27 of their stores. So I think the biggest learning I've had in the beverage industry itself is that the response has been positive. For you know, when I go into retailers or bars, and the buyers, you know, give a good response to it, uh, it surprises me just that it takes longer to get traction than the response. So it does, those don't seem to really mix. The response is positive, but then it takes a lot longer than I would have thought to actually get things going. So it's more of a grind than I would have expected, but now I'm acclimating to that. So for me, one of the interesting or different things I think about how I look at this business is I'm going to follow more what I call like a gypsy brewing model, which is similar in the beer industry, where you don't necessarily build a brewery, but you go into a brewery to make your product. So I've got some alignments with different breweries throughout the country that I can go into and make Sophie there so it stays local, stays fresh. So what I'll need to have is that partner who can be agile enough uh, with me to be able to say, all right, let's go ahead and jump into that market now and get the canning line and build from there. I think that answer is twofold. On the first part of it, it's that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, every category kind of has that, that refreshing take on a beverage. So this idea of having a carbonated cold brew to actually fulfill that need is something that's out there that is a need to be fulfilled. So there's an opportunity for that. That's the first aspect. The other is less about the product and more about the brand. Again, as I mentioned earlier, to me, a brand is bigger than what the product is, and I think Sophie has the ability to become a brand that people actually do love.